trust. Do you actively work on your relationship now? You see a therapist once a year or just touch base every Sunday or we we check talk in with uh, each we other? check in with each other all mm -hmm. the time now. And you know, we continue to do work, we continue to read books and you know, check in in that way and we check into the latest thing that's whatever's going on at the time. Yeah. You know? But how is it to have a marriage being so in the spotlight, especially reality shows? You did Harry Loves Lisa, and now your wife's on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. When so many things are played out, how does that affect your marriage? Does it make it stronger? Do you guys yeah, laugh? It's funny, we laugh. <laughs> yeah. well, it's, 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 these are TV shows. You yes, know? This is, it is. Th that's just, um, they call them reality shows, and uh, we need to we need But they to are keep scripted. No, a they're not bit, scripted. They? This one isn't. The Housewives one isn't scripted it's at not. all. Oh, okay. The one that Lisa and I did was slightly scripted. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't want it to be scripted when we sold the show. I came up with the idea of Harry. Um, it wasn't Harry Loves Lisa. It was, it was uh, I Love Lisa mm -hmm. was the title. And uh, that's what I sold. Um, and it was going to be a half hour situation comedy around our household with my wife who is domestically challenged very much like Lucy. So it was I Love Lisa and it was based on I Love Lucy and mm -hmm. it was kind of it was going to be kind of in that wheelhouse. And the network bought that. They loved the idea. They bought that, but then they got cold feet and they mm -hmm. they said they were going to change the title and they wanted it to be scripted. At first it was going to be completely reality. I said, you know, just follow us. All you have to do is follow us around because our life is chaos. We were building stores at the time, building a retail business. Raising kids. I like you know. your store. I went there. I didn't realize it was yours. It, yeah, it was. Gray. And, yeah, it used to be. We don't mm -hmm. have it yeah, anymore. Right. But um, thank God. <laughs> but, but it was here. It was here, yeah. very close. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that was an interesting uh, moment in my life. That was uh, uh, we decided to explore Lisa's uh, her her fashion sense is so good and her editing when it yeah. comes to fashion is so good that we said well why don't we see if we can make that into something into a business she's such a good editor let's have her edit and we'll actually sell what she comes up with and it worked out great it was fantastic until the recession which kind of destroyed everybody's right. businesses the good news is that a few days or weeks before we had to close our last store a posse of people from QVC came by and they liked the look of the store and they liked Lisa and they liked her editing and now we have a huge business on QVC so that she's able to continue you know editing making her own line and selling it and being able to be out there as a fashionista that's wonderful and that's probably even better oh, she's better. all over yeah she's all that's, over the country it's much much better she's <laughs> in several countries she's not just here it's, mm. it's becoming a sort of global affair the QVC thing